Jazzcast Pros. Where you have men who was consistently in the realm, in the guidance and kingdom of always having to fight, grind and hustle and bustle and, and you know, the every day. You have to channel that energy somewhere. Channel it in a way that is healthy. But how can you do it healthy when you're consistently, chronically, always under pressure and always out of control? Fathers, we have power. Men, brothers, sons, we have power over us in many things among us. This is a time for us to practice, to implement a daily routine of how to discipline and have control of your power. That's right, your power. Welcome to Father Torch, the podcast to help you, the new and renewed fathers, cope with the anxieties and stress of fatherhood. So then you can be the father you wish you had. Hi, I'm your host, Ra, founder and CEO of Abimelech Foundation, an artist, father of nine. My mission is to help you reclaim your power and ease the concerns about being a father in today's social climate. This is part two, of course, of Discipline, Control, and Power. This episode is brought to you by Creative Pizza, home of the homemade meatballs and sexy cheese with homemade sauce. The only casual pizza in Rochester you can go to and enjoy and feel good about. Across from Speedway, 766 Monroe Avenue, Rochester, New York. Today's episode, my folks, my friends, my brothers, my sons, is a continuing conversation that should be and always had, especially with us men, black men in particular. We have great, great expectations And with that, it comes with a lot of stress and a lot of uncertainties. Yes, you must teach your children, especially the hot-tempered one, the hard-headed one, the arrogant one, which arrogance usually comes harder in children. I dedicate this to the young fathers, to the young men, as well as my elders and pioneers of fatherhood. Today, we embark on the, the notion of the truth and faults of discipline and where it comes from. Now, Although I liked and I love to base this out of Proverbs 19, it is essential for us to understand that it goes beyond just simply your spirituality. It is your mental, it is your emotion, it is your physicality. We are dealing with today's society that is consistently pressuring, oppressing, and pushing the boundaries of your emotional development, intelligence, as well as your physical limitations. We have too much of our young men that that use this terminology of, I was mad and I blacked out. I was upset or things was happening and I, I just lost control. As a young man, I was always taught to have self-control. So it was lack thereof, uh, the overstanding of not being in control. But at the same time, we was often taught to the unrealistic teaching sometimes of self-control and how to, how to control ourselves because ass whippings wasn't always the way to control someone high temperament or hard-headedness, right? Or the youthfulness. We didn't do much talking. It was a lot of ass whippings. You, you mainly got a result, but it wasn't the proper result. And it wasn't something that would last long because the whole idea of discipline is that you can function and you can be, you know, all you can be. As a man, as a father, as a black man, it is imperative that we must have self-control. If you don't have self-control, you can't have discipline. If you don't have discipline, your consequences and, 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 and punishment, if you will, would be more severe than the ones who simply did not know or have control. We have too many misguided men that think, I got this, I'm good, in a world that is always on the grind, always changing, always manipulative, always fighting and grinding and, and pushing. And we have too much fathers who are not supported in the endeavor in this adventure. We're not surrounding ourselves with like-minded brothers who can help guide us, shape us, mold us, if you will, because you have so much pride and ego and arrogance, because I got it, right? I got it. I don't need nothing. I got it. Oh, I know how to do it. I watch my father fail, right? We, we, We say these things. I watch my father fail. I watch other fathers fail. We watch so much of these stories unfold in many different realms and values and kingdoms that make no sense. We say, I mind my business and I won't say nothing. I I won't do this because it's not my my fight. 
Well, what happens when your fight comes to your door, when it affects your child, when it affects your family, when it affects your friends you hold value to? You're going to learn quickly? I always thought it was best to be prepared than to get prepared. But nonetheless, this is a time for us to practice, to implement a daily routine of how to discipline and have control of your power. That's right, your power. Fathers, we have power. Men, brothers, sons, we have power over us in many things among us. If you do not practice what you value and practice what is ordained in you to rule, to, to learn, to teach, to guide, then you will live a more confusing life than a less confusing life. You will be very conflicted with a lot of emotions and a lot of thoughts. And there's nothing we can do to escape this. I don't care how much drugs you take and how much alcohol you take. You can't avoid these type of developments and essential to your living. Unless you don't carry the care of your life, I can see how this can be detrimental to my brothers and to my fathers. It's essential, imperative that you practice self-control. And self-control is imperative because the fact is you will hurt the ones you love. That involves your children. That involves your lover. That involves your parents. And most of all, yourself. We have too much truths and lies about what discipline is. Spare the rod. You know, your child will be spared or corrected. Don't let them slide. You don't get at them. I understand all those theories and all those biblical notions. They have truth to them. They do have truth to them. However, without discipline or control, you will hurt them, including yourself. You must be a sense of balance, without regret. When it comes to discipline, you must do it in control and sound mind. Whether you're whipping the ass or talking to them, you must do it with a sound and controlled mind, controlled emotions, and the consequences must follow. I can't reward you for doing foolishness, and I can't neglect you when you are doing what you need to do based off that discipline or that talk or that reasoning or that development or that value which I instill in you. And if I have no values of my own because I was not taught or around or even failed to learn the lesson, that is your responsibility, young man, grown man, pioneer, elders and like, to seek help and to seek guidance, counsel. What they say, ignorance to the law is no excuse. Same thing applies to your life, your control, your discipline, your power. Understand you are you have life before you and you have to prepare them. So that means when they're born and conceived, you must prepare how this is going to be, what this is going to look like. Everything looks good on paper. Everything looks good in fantasy world and minds and wishing upon a star. Everything looks good until reality hits. Hey, if you're enjoying this episode, check out the Healthy Illness Podcast with me, Kelly Marie, as we build healthy relationships while living with mental health conditions. I'm diagnosed and live with borderline personality disorder, major depression, and generalized anxiety. And despite those diagnoses, I've been able to live a full life. I have healthy relationships, a great career, and my mission is to help you do the same. So join me for Healthy Illness Podcast. New episodes every Monday on the Jazzed Cast Pros Network found on the podcast player you're listening to right now. Be the light. What if you could create your own pizza, brick oven baked with unlimited veggies? Well, now you can at Create a Pizza, the only fast casual pizzeria in the city of Rochester. The dough is fresh. The sauce is homemade. Right now, you can try the Father Torch Lunch Special for just $5.99. Vegan meatball pizza with sexy cheese. Only at Create a Pizza, 766 Monroe Avenue, across from the Speedway. What will you create at createapizza585.com? If you've been thinking about starting a podcast and you want to include interviews with people across town, Riverside.fm offers unbelievable high quality recordings, regardless of your or your guest internet quality. And it also gives you separate audio and video tracks for each person speaking. And unlike Zoom, you don't have to install anything on your computer and your guests don't either. Head over to Riverside.fm and use promo code JazzyCast to get 60 free minutes of recording and 15% off a membership plan. The reality is, is that we live in a double standard society that looks at you differently from the other. That we are a set of group of people that is hated 
by the world, by, by the world, hated by the world through propaganda, misdeeds, misguided, and lies. So with that being said, knowing that these are things are against you, these are things that strikes against you even before you open and utter your first words, and even before you can acknowledge what and who you are, this is ordained on top of you. And this is why it's important that you must have control. It will save your family, your children, and your lives. Come self-control. You must have self-control that, that you that you're order to have self-discipline. I'm a big man. I have big emotions. I have big emotions. So it takes a lot of self-discipline and control and humility to go through my daily life, my daily life, because everybody in the world has that one or two people in their circle who will test them. And like suit and like the world, they always invite others to do the same. And if you don't know how to navigate that, you don't know how to control that, that urge, that lack of, if you will, discipline, the consequences is not going to be what you think it is. I know a lot of us were saying, I will do jail. I will do this and I will do that. But you got to think beyond that point. And nothing worse than getting your freedom taken away for something that you could have prevented. There's nothing worse than losing your life and leaving your child or loved ones undefended. Just because you could not think or have self-control and humility, humbleness, if you will about how you should deal with things. Because you'll be able to identify a threat from a non-threat. you understand the levels of threat. What can be addressed now, what can be addressed later. What needs your response immediately and what can wait for your response eventually. We must understand our ability to have, or I should say the reality of having self-control and discipline. It is no one responsibility but your own to have control. We have too many men that are lacking this desire or even the ability to have self-control. And it's not because, I want you to hear this clearly, a lot of times it's not because they came from a a broken home or a dysfunctional home or they was raised in the street. They just damn well hard and ignorant. And a lot of them lack the responsibility or accountability to have this reality of self-control and self-discipline. They're out here doing all kind of foolishness and then use this use the words of I didn't know to play the victim. Some of the simply ignorant and don't give a damn. Now I don't know there's many ways of dealing with them, but I'm not promoting that. I'm promoting you, my brothers, my fathers, to have self-control, self-discipline about you, about who you are and what you can bring to the table. Nothing less, nothing more. There's nothing good, or sweet, or happy about being a fool, about having someone else control you. It is crucial to recognize the many lack of self-awareness and the struggles of comprehension that we, but that we, we as we as black men, as men, as fathers, that we need to understand the comprehension and the repercussion of losing control. It's serious out here, and having having not even practice the, the self-discipline which is needed for you to see and to see and to be aware around what is happening around you. It's sad to say that a lot of us don't have that. A lot of us don't even think about it. Establishing healthy boundaries and healthy relationship with yourself, much less with others, is important. Self-control, manage one's thoughts and emotions, emotional intelligence. Know yourself that no one else can get you there. The development factors it's vast. And I understand that there's many factors of influences. There's there's developmental issues. There's mental health. There's upbringing, environment, and practice of traditions, religions, religion. There's so many factors. And every one of those factors still cannot excuse you of why you should not lose control. Survival should not be the only mission or value or core value in your life. As fathers, as men, it is important, it is crucial that we have self-control, that we have better awareness, we have self-discipline, that we have control and power. And it's powerful when you can speak, look, and be aware, think, and be clear in your intent, in your action, 
on on purpose. Your children will follow you. People will follow you. They will gravitate towards you. Your children will thank you. Your loved ones will admire you. It seems vast and seems kind of out of touch, especially how things are nowadays. And there are so many pretenders and so many so-called influencers. I mean, we have to do better with ourselves. We have to do better for ourselves. My fathers, I urge you, and I tell you, I tell you this, love yourself, be yourself. Self-control, discipline is the way to be. Discipline is the way to go. If you don't have these things, if you don't have this in mind and practice, if you don't have this in your routine, then prepare for yourself for someone else's discipline, consequences, control, and their power over you. And that includes your children. Because there's nothing worse than when you're young and you're full of power and have no control or self-control. All you do is destroy. And you don't have the discipline or the knowledge to how to rebuild. Teach your sons, teach your daughters the value of life, the purpose of their life. Let them know that they were conceived in love and not you hate. It wasn't a mistake. Stop abusing them mentally, emotionally, and physically. Start loving them, teaching them, giving them the tools they need that they can surpass you. Yes, so they can surpass you, not the other way around. Not oppress them because you oppressed. Not teach them anger because you filled with rage. Love yourself enough to know the better and difference. To have discipline, control, and power. Use the strength and the energy and the cosmos and the grace of the Most High within you, born in within you, to have this life with purpose and love, to simply live, not just survive. Live, my brothers. Discipline yourself to have control of yourself and manage and display your true self, your power. None of this is new. I didn't make this story up. I didn't create it. This is all ordained. This is all here for a reason. I want to leave you with this thought. And please leave a comment. I'd be glad to hear from you and be glad to answer these questions. Are you in control of your thoughts? Are they in control of you? Two, do you struggle to comprehend yourself in your awareness? Right? Three, is there a support system in your life that you can turn to when you are experiencing difficulties in your emotional or mental thoughts? Please leave a comment. Please let me know what you think. Be sure to catch me next next Sunday. By the torch, right? By the torch. Stream anywhere or wherever you are streaming. What you're listening to, would it be Apple Podcasts or would it be Spotify or any major podcast format? I'm your host again, Ra. By the torch, CEO of Abimelech Foundation, father of nine artists. Peace. Are you an entrepreneur at heart with the mind of a hustler? Then you found the perfect podcast to help you turn your side hustle into a profitable small business so that you can support yourself and your community. Welcome to the Heart of the Hustle podcast. I am your host, Coach Mo, an award-winning serial entrepreneur with an unconventional business background. You can call me Motivation. I am a predicate felon who struggled to survive in the workforce, and I wanted a better quality of life for me and my family. And that's when I realized that entrepreneurship was my best course of action for reform. I am the owner of the Groom Room Men's Spa and Lounge, Rochester, New York's premier day spa for men's self-care and wellness. Over the pandemic, I began coaching struggling entrepreneurs inside my private Facebook group called Business Behaviors. With this podcast, my mission is to teach you all of the things I wish I knew while starting a business so that you can avoid the pitfalls of entrepreneurship and turn your passion into profits legally. Join me and expert guests as we cover topics such as business formation and legal entities. Should your company be a nonprofit or for profit? Mental wellness for CEOs, how to build community business credit and budgets, and how to get a return on your investment. 
Are you ready to elevate from a hustler's mindset to that of a CEO? Subscribe now so that you'll be the first to know when new episodes drop. The Heart of the Hustle podcast on the JazzCast Pros Network. Over and out.